Hey, my lead, and how y'all doing today? Well, I haven't done a movie review in a while, so uh, I was checking out Netflix, and then they have a movie that they just made as a Netflix special, because Netflix is branching out. They're doing, like, their own TV shows now, and this is a movie they did along with, uh, what, One Productions, I think it was called, for the Trailer Park Boys, and this was Trailer Park Boys Live from fucking Dublin. Now, I have to censor it for the title, you know, it's censored a little bit for the title, but that's what's called fucking actually in the title. So, and uh, anyone who knows the trailer park <laughs> boys know they say that word a lot, a lot. And basically, what it, uh, basically what this consists of is, you know, they show them at their trailer park all cursing and stuff, and then all of a sudden, Bubbles comes out real spazzing out, throwing chairs and stuff like that, cursing and swearing, saying that they won the rush contest. And apparently, uh, Rush put up some contest, and they said they did a video and submitted it, like, I th I assume via YouTube or whatever, and uh, the winner would get a chance to go get a private jet uh, going all the way to Dublin with uh, him, the entrant, and, like, well, four people and $1,000 spending cash. And apparently, he won, and he did, like, a recreation of the... Uh, classic video from Rush close to the heart and with Ricky uh, not lip syncing very good with a big nose glued onto his face like Getty Lee and it was very entertaining and then uh, they had a little uh, thing from one of the guys from Rush and then they went on a private jet right and of course they, they rolled a bunch of joints and they were smoking them and they were drinking alcohol real bad they arrive in Ireland they go to uh the customs agents, and they go through there, and then that one guy says, hey, Ricky, you got any weed on you? And he said, hey, yeah, actually, I do. You want some? And they, and they cut like, you're not serious, sorry, because they, they were just joking around. And then they get arrested and thrown in jail. And they're fighting and stuff like that, and uh, they get called to court to the judge. And the judge says, what you have to do is perform a community uh a show at the community center to help promote their economy, right? Telling you about the evils of drugs and alcohol. And then it goes to that part. And what this is, is like part, uh, it's kind of like Dice Rules, except without the big budget. Because Dice Rules was like part movie and then part concert film. And that's what this is, part movie and then part concert film. And most of the movie, like about an hour of it, is them performing in the concert. And they start out with a puppet show. And of course they start fighting. And then they come out. And it's to a packed house in Dublin. And they do a bunch of singing. They do uh, audience participation. Like uh, they do hypnotizing. And they do like all these crazy contests. Like uh, they bring these women on, on. And they have a thing to see which women can roll a joint the fastest. Or like uh, alcohol transfer. Like they have like a bottle of full rum. And a bottle of empty an uh, empty bottle and they have to drink, take a swig and spit it in the bottle and see whoever does it first is the winner. They do a thing of a turd transfer where they have like a thing of a cat litter with these little candy bars and it's supposed to be turds. And, you know, and they bob for bob for turds and they spit them out. And whoever wins is the winner in that. And a whole bunch of real crazy stuff. A lot of singing, dancing, uh, bubble singing songs, liquor and whores. And actually they do a little bit of rush, a little bit. And, uh, pretty, I mean, I'm not really giving away the ending because it's a concert film. Because, you know, they have the movie and then they do their concert bit. And then they arrive back home. I mean, I, I mean it's pretty self-explanatory. But, you know, it's a journey they go through and it's pretty entertaining. It's very funny and very, uh, curse-filled. <laughs> yeah, they swear an awful lot in this. I, I mean, if you're familiar with Trailer Park Boys, you know they swear. Uh, my dad hated it. My dad said, well, you couldn't seriously like that thing. And I thought it was pretty entertaining. I liked it. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 for Trailer Park Boys live from fucking Dublin. And uh, what's cool is they have, uh, at the very end of the movie, they talk about that video close to the heart at the beginning, right? They have like a side-by-side -side comparison with the Rush video and then their video, which is really cool. I really like that. So it was it was pretty good. It's on Netflix. It's a Netflix special. I don't know if it's... Uh, if it's shown in another capacity, but it's 
Netflix did it. And uh, so, yeah, it was pretty good. I'd give it an eight, 8 out of 10. So if you get a chance, check out uh, Trailer Park Boys Live from fucking Dublin. Available on Netflix. So until next time, everybody, hey, please take care of my legion.